Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, I react to the new Jason Richardson guitar amp sim from Mixwave. So at the time of this recording, I have actually been on tour for a little while, so I didn't get a chance to try this when it initially came out. However, a new guitar amp sim uh, has been released and I am pretty excited about it because uh, it's from, uh, from my friends at Mixwave and it's from my friend Jason Richardson and it's his new signature amp sim from Mixwave, Mixwave Jason Richardson, as the name would imply. Now we're gonna do something a little different for this video because First of all, I am not being paid to make this video. In fact, I don't actually think I was formally asked to make a video. Uh, Jason just texted me and said, hey, can I send you this plugin? And then Luke asked me if I had a chance to check it out yet. Uh, so what I have done is I have installed it, I have fired it up, and I have a guitar, in this case, a custom uh, Music Man baritone axis guitar. And I actually haven't heard this plugin yet, okay? so. This is me kind of reacting and my first impressions, and we're gonna kind of go through and just kind of check out and poke around as one would when initially trying this guitar amp sim. So here it is. This is what it looks like. Now, first of all, visually, this is very aesthetically pleasing, and I like the um, I like the inclusion of all of the the watch gears because I think that is very accurate for you know someone like Jason who's incredibly technically proficient and accurate and precise. And I think this is a really good job of kind of conveying what you're in for, sonically. So I haven't done anything to this plugin. I have fired it up, I have started this, and it is already on the rhythm channel. I haven't done anything to this, okay? So, oh, mm, okay. Uh, here we go. Let's, let's check this out. <laughs> okay. All right. So, <laughs> Dang. So that's that's a great starting point. Um, what I would do personally is I would lower the bass a little bit and up the presence a tiny bit. Honestly, that's that's literally all I would do. Let's check. Let's see where we're at here. <laughs> Um, I'm hearing some kind of a gate. Yeah, here's a gate. I haven't touched anything. This is already sounding incredible. Um, I don't know what this is. What is this? Okay, chorus. Obviously we have the amp. Uh, we have an overdrive section. We have a delay, we have a reverb, and we have a cabinet section. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Okay, so currently you're hearing uh, some V30s with a uh, tube mic and a ribbon mic. Uh, that's pretty cool. So each side, so there's a total of four. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. So these are different, uh, different speaker positions, the different speakers within the same 412. I like how this is laid out. That's pretty cool. That's very easy to understand and very simple, but aesthetically very pleasing. Huh. That's awesome. Let's uh let's play around with this a little bit. So currently we're using one, three, and four. So we're not using two. Uh, the level of the first mic is a little lower than three. Or no, it's a little higher than three. And then four. So all of these are, are, have various amounts of blending. Um, there's the 57. I would actually like to hear a little bit more 57-ness. <laughs>
There's a button down here that I can match the level of the mics. That's very, very cool. Focus on and off. Let's see what this does. So that's uh, really affecting the top end. I'm gonna I'm gonna back that focus off just a little bit, but overall I kind of like what it's doing. It's nice. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go back to the amp. Uh, mono and stereo, I assume, is what this is. Okay, stereo input. Obviously, I'm uh, mono input with a single guitar, but that's a cool option to have if I'm using something else other than a guitar. Overdrive, let's uh, mix. I like that there's a mix uh, knob, that's cool. Um, I will say as I'm playing this, this feels, uh, like there's some resistance is the wrong word, but, uh, there's, you know, I'm, I'm reacting against something, which is what most guitar amp sims miss. I will say. Uh, let's go to the clean. You guys know I love clean tones. Turn the overdrive off. Let's turn the gain down a little bit. Trying to some uh, some delay. Kind of dirty. I like that. That's nice. I'm gonna turn this delay off for a second. Ooh, that reverb is lovely. I really like that reverb. That's nice. Nicely done. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off. Let's go back to the amp and let's do, uh, let's check out the lead tone. I'm gonna stay on the neck position actually. Oh, I see. So whatever setting I have, it's pretty much gonna stay. No, it's not. Okay. That was just, uh, I thought for some reason uh, I had the, the gain down on the clean. All these settings are saved and it's even adding some different things depending on the channel that I'm in. Oh, that's cool. I haven't even tried the presets yet. Actually, let's try the preset. Uh, lead delay, stereo. That's 
pretty cool. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the rhythm. Oh, that's so cool. So we have input and output filters as well. So we can do a low pass and a high pass on the input section and the output section. So if I have some low end buildup coming out of the plugin, I can just kind of take that low end off and I can also do the same with the top end. That is super cool. This is probably also really handy in a live situation, which is something you would typically do in a live situation. Take off a bunch of top end because at gig volume, you would uh, you would not need a bunch of top end information. This is super, super cool. All right, so let's wrap this up, shall we? Uh, the new Jason Richardson plugin from Mixwave. What do I think? This is a lot of fun. I love the simplicity of this plugin. I love the aesthetic. I also love the quality of the effects. The reverb, as I mentioned before, is really, really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what more uh, what more I can say about this. I love the fact that there's an oversampling as well. Oversampling is going to add fidelity and uh, you know especially affect some uh, something like uh, the top end in the high gain channels. Um, overall, I love the fact that I can control everything, uh, including the active output and input channels of anything I want. I can make this route from and to wherever I want. Love that and. Uh, uh, yeah, nicely done, Mixwave. Bravo. Uh, I give this five out of five beards. Real talk. And also, congratulations to Mixwave and Jason Richardson for releasing what is actually a legit awesome plugin. I have quite enjoyed my uh, my time with this. I will link down below in the description if you would like to check this out for yourself. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.